Right, hey guys, it's Graham, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a review video of some cab blinds for a Mercedes Sprinter and you can also get them for several other models. Um, I've just put them up in the van, that's why I got the lights on so that you can see me. I'm now going to show you these cab blinds because they are really good. And I got them because Luke's Van Life recommended them. And um, they are now following me on Instagram um, and they're, they're really good. They're exactly what I needed, so yeah, I'll show you how good they are from the inside and the out. Right, so this is the conditions. Uh, I don't know if I can show you. The sun is directly out there. This is the conditions we're in. This is how much light is, well, is was, whatever, in the van without the cab blinds. So you can see how light it is in here. It's daylight from the sun. The van's a bit of a mess, but um, yeah, I'm still building and stuff, so um, yes. Right, so we are inside the van, I'm just going to turn the lights off. So as you can see, I've got a little bit of light there, I've not quite put that one in right. I think mine are a little bit loose on that side, but there's a tiny bit there. I should probably mention we are in absolute 100% daylight. The sun is right up there. So that it's shining directly on this windscreen. But there, there's a little gap there, but it's all right. That one is just a bit loose, that's all. It does cover the window, it's just a bit loose. Same with these back edges. They are, they just need pushing in a bit. These are still brand new, they are a little bit uh, I guess you call them bowed, a little bit killed up from storage. So they do need stretching out. They need a good use, really. Um, they need leaving like this, really, so that they can stretch out and straighten out. But unfortunately, I need the van every day. So, um, yeah. One thing I should mention, I've got sun visors that way. This gap here is only because I've got a dash cam here that's pushed up to the windscreen. Otherwise, that would be tight to the windscreen. Ooh, you can't see. Otherwise, that would be tight to the windscreen. It's just because I've got the dash cam right there that it's not tight to the windscreen. That's why I'm using the sun visors just to hold it in place. So there's a little bit of light coming through. But like I said, remember, we are in direct sunlight. I'll show you outside. The outside. Oh, in fact, you can see my dash cam now. Although I can't see my screen because of the sun, but yeah, there we go. So yeah, um, there you go, there's the cab blinds. That's what they're like, that's how good they are. They cost you less than 100 quid, and I think Luke said you can still get 15% off some of them. They still have some, you can still use his discount code, so you get them for, I think I paid like 73 quid or something for them. So they're really cheap for what they are. They're really good. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd do a little product review for you and uh, show you how good they are. And they make them for all different types of vehicle, not just a Sprinter, because obviously he's got an Iveco and they also do Citroen relays and all those lot and uh, VW transporters, Berlingos, you know, little VW caddies, small stuff like that. They do the small vans as well. So they make them to all different shapes and sizes. You can see behind me just how bright it would be with the sun out. So you can see how good those blinds are. And not only that, because they are silver foil like insulated, um, they keep the heat out. Um, they're not just like a sheet of, I don't know, they're not like a bed sheet thrown across your windscreen or anything. They're insulated, so they keep the sun out. Although the actual, I did notice they were getting hot from being in the sun all day because they are black, because I had them that way round. Um, as Luke said, he went for the black because it looks nice. The problem is, is if you put them the way I put them, with the silver on the inside, um, the problem you're going to get is they will get very, very hot. And I mean scoldingly hot. So maybe I'll have to put them the other way with the silver on the outside so it reflects the heat back out, possibly. That might be a solution. But um, yeah, I don't know. Um, just something to mention going forward. So yeah, I think that's it. That is my review of the cab lines. Um, 